In this video, we will learn how to assemble five axis machines in Machine Maker and export them to SprutCam. Machine Maker comes as a bundle with SprutCam and SprutCam Robot. So, in order to use Machine Maker, you need to download and install one of these packages. You can do it on our official website www.sprutcam.com. We will be using SprutCam because in this video we are talking about machines. Let's launch SprutCam from the Machine Maker interface. You can find it here below the SprutCam logo. Before you start working, please make sure you are in the right mode. We need to select Milling Machine. Then we bring in the downloaded machine model from the PC using the Add Mechanism button. You will find this model in the description to this video. Once the machine has fully loaded, we start the setup. Let's specify the machine's name. Then we set the machine's base, in other words, its fixed part. We press the base button and pick all the elements of the machine that are part of the base. Now let's specify the movable joints of the machine. Press the plus sign and add the first joint. Once the joint has been added, we need to specify its name. Then we need to pick all the elements of the machine that are part of this joint. Let's add other joints in a similar way. If you have selected a wrong element, click on it again to uncheck it. In other words, this element will no longer be part of that joint. Please be attentive when designating the elements, make sure you have selected all the parts that make up the joint. Remember that you can always come back to the Model tab and modify the content of the joints. We have divided the machine into joints, now let's indicate the tool center point in the tool block. This point will be the center of the coordinate system of the machine. For that, we need to activate a special mode and designate the point's location on the machine. In order to move the point around, long press the left control button. Once you set the point, don't forget to turn off the Machine Coordinate System Editing Mode. In the Model tab, we have loaded the machine model, divided into joints and set the coordinate system. Now, let's go to the Kinematic tab. Here, we will first of all set the tree structure of the machine's kinematics. The Z-axis joint is located on the Y-axis. And the Y-axis itself is on the X-axis. The C-axis joint is located on the B-axis joint. Now let's set the limits for the movement of the machine's joints. But before this, we need to match the joints with the axes along which they will be moving. How do we do this? We select the needed joint from the list and set the axis along which it will be moving. When setting the machine up, please use its user manual that can be downloaded from the manufacturer's website. Once all the joints and axes have been matched, let's set their limits. We choose the axis and move the blue planes that limit the maximal and minimal positions of the joint. In order to check whether the machine kinematics is set correctly, let's go to the simulation tab. In the simulation mode, you can hide the joints that obstruct the view. Go to the style tab and change their transparency to 0%. Check the axe's movement direction and their limits using toggles. If needed, we come back to the kinematics tab and change values. This procedure has to be done with all the machine's joints. Also, in the simulation tab there is demo button, 
which launches the demonstration of how all the joints are functioning. Once the limits for all the joints have been set, we set the workpiece and the tool on the machine. The style tab is used for changing the appearance of the machine. Here you can change the colors of the machine so that it looks more like in real life or has more contrast. Once all the changes have been brought in, hit the apply button and then save the project. In order to open the machine in SprutCam, you need to press the corresponding button in Machine Maker. The machine will be then imported into SprutCam. In the machine control panel you can see how the machine joints are moving. Now, let's check if the machine is working properly when calculating the NC control program. First of all, let's import a parts model. Then we add a machining operation and set its parameters. As you can see, there are no collisions detected after the toolpath calculation. Remember, you can always come back to Machine Maker and change your machine settings. Thank you.